Welcome to the Flip Notes on Population. And as always, you should have the fill in a blank notes that you should be using. If you don't have the fill in a blank notes, you can get them from our website online, or you can take them the old fashioned way and you can actually write them out longhand. So here we are, we're talking about population. So take a look at this cartoon. Six billion and nothing bad has happened yet. So pause the video and take a few minutes and try and th interpret this vi uh, this cartoon and try and think about what it, meaning it has. And once you think you have it, jot it down. So when we're in class and I ask you about it or I show you this slide, you'll be able to share with the class what your opinion is it of it is. Now population, which would you prefer? Would you prefer many people with fewer resources or fewer people with more resources? Now most of us are going to be honest and say, well, I prefer fewer people with more resources. Unfortunately, that's not the direction that our planet is moving in. We have already surpassed 7 billion people on the planet and we continue to grow. Now this is a very interesting web here. And we start with our main topic, population, but via population, when we talk about all the different topics related to it, you know, we're going to talk about famine in class at some point in time. Population is definitely related to climate, health issues, water issues we'll get into our, we'll talk about in our water unit. We've already talked about a lot of environmental issues. You've got AIDS, you've got ethics. So a lot of these topics that you see here all tie into population. And the reason they put it in the web is if you go over here to AIDS and you start tugging on that web, you pull on everything else as well. Now, has technology improved survivability? And that's one of the big reasons why people, the population of our planet, people are doing so much better today than they did, say, 200 years ago. Technology as far as medicines, technology as far as how we live, where we live, uh, technology as far as how much food we can produce, all has increased our population. When we look at this graph here, it's death per rate per 1,000. And you can see since 1750, out of 1,000 people, the death rate, you know, per um, 1,000 people is 25. And all of a sudden, you can just see plummet to where about the year 2000, you know, what are we looking at? Well, I can't draw a straight line right here. We're looking at less than 15. So it's almost been cut in half in the last 150, 250 years. Here's another interesting cartoon. Again, pause the video, take a look at the cartoon so when I show it in class, you can share with the class what your interpretation of it is. Now, nearly half a billion people around the world face water shortages today. By 2025, one in every three people will face water shortages. And I know we're talking about places like the Middle East, right? We're not necessarily talking about places like California, places like uh, Georgia, places like Nevada. Well, we are. So even here in the United States, we have problem, problems with water shortages. But we don't have them right here in Wisconsin, do we? Eh, yes, we do. And we'll take a look at some of those concepts later on in the year when we talk about groundwater. But this is not just a problem that you tend to associate with desert areas like the Middle East, it happens here in the United States as well. In fact, some people are predicting major wars in the future will not be fought over war, but will be fought over water shortages. Because, you know, believe it or not, we can live without oil, but we can't live without water. Now, 250 million people have died of hunger-related causes in the past quarter century, roughly 10 million each year. So when we talk about population, you know, not having enough food to feed the population, well, a lot of people are dying as a result. Now, this is a lot of there's a lot of controversy with this topic because a lot of people will say, "Well, what's the ethic, ethics of it? Are people really dying because they're um, not getting enough food, or is the food that we produce just not getting to the right people?" And a lot of people argue that we produce more than enough food to feed the entire world. It's just getting the food there, and war and other things are preventing food from getting to the people that truly need it. Now, it's estimated that we are consuming the Earth's resources 20% faster than it can be replenished. At this rate, we're not going to have resources for a lot longer. Now, 70% of the world's poor are women. Why is this important to growth rates? Again, I'd like you to pause the video so when I ask you this question in class, you can share with the class what your opinion on this matter is. 
Now, half of the 15-year-olds living in South Africa and Zimbabwe today will eventually die of AIDS. Now, think about that. Half. So, 15-year-olds, uh, 15 years old. You guys here in the 8th grade are about 15 years old or close to it. Imagine if you look to the left, you look to the right, you saw two of your best friends. One of you eventually, if you lived in Zimbabwe, the chances are, the odds are that one of your friends would be dying of AIDS. Now, population projections, where are we headed to on our planet? And this, again, is a lot for debate. A lot of people are saying, well, we've hit 7 billion, we're going to continue to rise, and all of a sudden we're going to start to drop down. Okay. Some people are saying, yeah, we're going to continue to rise, but it's going to go slower and slower and slower. Well, other people are saying, well, we're going to continue to skyrocket up. Now, it all depends on the fertility rate. And this is one of those things mathematically that a lot of people look at and say, fertility rate, how can we have, you know, I can understand two children per woman, but how can I have 1.6 children per woman and 2.5? What do we do? Cut a child in half? It's an average. It's an average. So if you had uh, five women, and on average, they, you know, combined they had 10 kids. On average, they would have two kids apiece. But if all of a sudden you raise it to 15, well, then on average, they'd have 2.5 children. So it's just an average. It doesn't mean you're only going to have half of a child, so don't worry. So when we talk about population, a lot of times we talk about developed countries and we talk about developing countries. Again, this is very controversial. A lot of people say, well, why are we a developing country? Why aren't we considered to be a developed country? And again, there's a lot of political politics behind this, a lot of political leveraging behind this. You know, who really is a developed country versus a non-developed country? So you look at this, you notice Russia is not involved with this at all. And neither is China, nor is India. But you look here, they're considered to be developing countries by some. So again, you go to different countries, they're going to have a different opinion on this as well. So how long did it take us to reach six billion? And you can tell this is a little old just because we have now reached 7 billion people on our planet. Well, the history of the population growth is like this. It took us many, 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 many years to reach a million, and then 5 to 10 million. And after that, it took us many, 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 many years, 10,000 years, to reach 170 million people. And it wasn't until about the year 1800 that our planet actually reached 1 billion. Now, after that, so you can take a look at the, the time between these time periods is great distances. But now it only took about 130 years, and we can see that over here, to reach 2 billion. And from 130 years, now it only took 30 years to reach 3 billion. So what are we at? Now we're going to be at 15 years to reach 4, then 12, 12, and 12 to reach about 7 billion. Now, most experts are going to say, well, we're not really going to surpass this. You notice we went from... 30 to 15, and then before this was 130. Well, it's not going to keep going down to the point where we get a billion people at it every year. It, we just can't do it on our planet. So what's the demographic facts of life here on a planet? One, from the, from the beginning of time until about 1800, world population total less than 1 billion people. And from that time on, it's grown tremendously fast. At the current growth rate of approximately 75 million people per year, 1 billion people will be added to the world every 12 years. Now here's just an interesting video clip. Again, um, I don't want to say pause video, but let it go forward, rewind it, let it go forward, rewind it. So when we take a look at this in class, you can interpret this and you can you know, answer some basic questions of it. But it is interesting where most of the population tends to be taking place. Now, the increase in population during the 2000s exceeded the total world population in the year 1600. So think about that. The increase in the population during the 2000s exceeded the total world population in the year 1600. So all from the beginning of time up until 1600, and then you have just 10 years. We added more people in 10 years than we did in the thousands of years before the 1600s. Now, the world's population is currently greater than 7 billion people. At the current rate, we add approximately a New York City every month, a Germany every year, and an almost an India each decade. So we're adding a lot of people to our planet. We're adding them very, very fast now. Now, at the current rate of natural increase, which is about 1% annually, the world's population could double 
in just 60 years. Now, I will stop a second and say you got to take a look at facts like this. When we go online and we search for facts like this, we try and find the best resources possible, but these are changing all the time. So even though we try and get the most current and up-to-date facts on population, keep in mind that every second the population facts are changing because more and more people are being added to our planet. Now, at this current rate, the world's population could double in just 60 years. And again, this is one of those things that in the 15 or so years I've been teaching about population, rarely does this stay the same from year to year. It fluctuates depending on this right here. So again, you may be looking in your notes, you may be looking this up online and find it, oh, it's not 60 years, now they're predicting 59, 57. It's going to change as this changes. So again, that's likely in your lifetime that things are going to change, but that the population is going to double. Now, approximately 27% of the world's population is below 15 years of age. Why is this important? Again, it's important because there's a lot of youth here, which means a lot of those youth are going to start to have kids soon. Now, if most of the population was, say, over the age of 50, they're over the um, age where most people are going to bear children. So the population would likely be going down. But because most of these um, people on our planet that are being added are young, it's just a matter of time before they have kids and the population really skyrockets. Well, this does end part one of our notes on population. So check out part two, and hopefully we'll finish in two parts, or we'll have to go into a third part. Again, I'm trying to keep these notes relatively short so you can watch them in small, small pieces. As always, we'll see you on the flip side, and if you have questions, ask them in class.